The city of Lake Alfred is remembering a military victory. On this day, 70 years ago, an important battle took place during the Korean War, a battle that helped shape the legacy of war hero General James Van Fleet. In tonight's Fox 13 Salutes, Ken Suarez shows us why all of Polk County is forever tied to that historic moment. On this sunny day in Lake Alfred, people gathered to remember dark times far away. April 23rd, 1951, the Battle of Kapyong. Chinese communists in North Korea were on the march with hopes of taking Seoul, South Korea. Outnumbered, UN, including American forces, were able to hold them off. A pivotal battle in the war. All I can do is come and give them what they deserve. It's a recognition. The communist invasion has always been close to Jones Kennedy's heart. Her family fled from them. Her cousin killed by them. The ceremony also commemorates Poe County's favorite son, General James Van Fleet, a four-star hero who made the cover of Time twice. He's a First World War veteran, Second World War veteran, and Korean War veteran. During Cap Young, he led the UN forces to victory. His grandson, Joe McChristian Jr., was here to honor his legacy. His leadership style inspired people. Back then, men and women in the armed forces, and now, just regular folks who are still grateful for what he and his troops were able to accomplish so many years ago. In Lake Alfred, Ken Suarez, Fox 13 News.